came down to the 500 is too much let's just make it 170 please so as we are typing did you notice that it is affecting the y axis the y axis keep on increasing itself and decreasing depending on the, the largest of the variable we have on the y axis to automatically rescale itself from zero to the biggest that we have on our row so meaning that it automatically follows what you're doing it follows along with what you're doing so now that i'm returning to 170 see it's no longer 600 that is our maximum is now 350 that is amazing because we have a, a variable right here in the column that has up to 300 so it's now giving us a gap of 50 more if in case we want to add more figures to give a space a margin on our chart so this is it when you are done close this spreadsheet and come out this is our graph and this is our chart and the chart is nice it's nice I believe you following and you agree with me that the chart is nice so this is how we added our chart it's as simple as that you can now come down by pressing enter to write this is the price difference on the above mentioned food store food stores food store select it make it bold and place it at the center of the page to make it look nice it's now presentable if you also want to add the title you can double click on this chart title and then double click on it select and type price difference So I can click outside if I'm done and close this small bar by the right side. So I am done with it and I can leave it this way. This is how you simply insert your chart on your table, on your document. When you have done this, you are done. You can print this, just go straight to your file, click on print and it will appear. That is what you want to do. Then the next that we want to work on is um, if you already have this kind of chart and you want to change it to something else, you already have it like this, looking like this, but you don't really want it to be this exact design. The variables remain the same. What do you do? Double click on it, then go straight to this very design view. It's asking you to choose what you want. Please, let's take our time to take an overview of what we have take a look at the first one that's nice this one is beautiful see what this one looks like let's click on it and see if there's any difference between it and the other ones zoom in a little and observe did you notice that it now have the figures written on top of each of the bars and they look much more well spaced okay double click again let's go back and check if we have another one that we can use we have this one we have this one this is wonderful this one is very nice you can click on it and then you will have it this is it if you still want to change you can go back to that same double, that same design view by double clicking and coming up to this space choose any one you want and that's all so that is much we can take on how to add uh, charts then if you want to change the design totally from appearing to be a bar chart like this double click on it and go straight to change chart type i said double click on the chart double click on the chart and click on change chart type i want it to be a line chart this is another big headache it's for those who did statistics you will find it easy to understand then we'll have pay chart pay chart will take it one year after another like right now is analyzing everything in different years thereby removing the gary and the goose and the rest which is not funny 
So if you want to work on pair chart, you need to single out one year at a time so that the names of the products will appear. That one is not friendly for this very large scale analysis. Go back to bar chart. Bar chart looks nice. Then area chart, you see what it looks like. It's fine too. So and uh, any other one you want, you can just choose from that. And that is the merge we have here on how to work with charts.